Good morning, dogs. <laughs> All right guys, this is something I've never done before. We're gonna head over to my parents' house right now. As you know, our family, Becky and I and the kids, we kicked my parents out of their house about a year and a half, two years ago. We bought the farm place from them. They are up the road a few miles now to the east, built a new house, and we're gonna go there and we're gonna completely reseed the entire lawn. I've got Alan Hain, the lawn care nut. He's got a great YouTube channel, check that out. I've never met Alan, I'm about to meet him here pretty soon, but we're headed over to my parents' place to seed that lawn down and I think this is gonna be a pretty big job. I can't say what's gonna happen, but I've also got a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Some of you are gonna like it, some of you are not. All right, I got Alan here. It's Alan Hain, correct? You got it, yep. This is the lawn care nut. So I, we will link him down below by we, I mean Becky. She will link you down below. Thanks, Becky. You guys can check out his channel. We're here at my parents' new property on the lake here. They got the house done. They got the patios done. All we got to do is fix this issue. So I brought in the professional. Time to do a little seeding. That's right. We got Scott's seed on board. So they, yep. they kicked in on the seed for this. So thank you to Scott's for helping out with that. We got the equipment here. I'm gonna show you guys some equipment in a little bit here. Might uh, might shake some of you up a little bit here. I think so. And then we're gonna throw down a little bit of uh, fertilizer, starter fertilizer after, and that comes from a company called Green County Fertilizer. Green County Fertilizer. Yep. Alan, are you comfortable up here? Because this is a long ways north. Are you freezing? Well, I got a little headache from the altitude, that's for sure. From the altitude, yes. I suppose. Yeah, we're, we're 1,424 feet higher than sea level. I'm at minus 10, so. You're at minus 10 yeah. down there in the Everglades. So he's, close. he has worked with Cletus McFarland. Yeah. Cletus has a racetrack down there, and I would love to race something around that track. Yeah. And are, are you also, you've worked with uh, Everglades Equipment Group down there? A little bit. I bought, actually bought a John Deere tractor from them because of you. Now, it's not a tractor like you have. Nice. It's, it's a, a lawn tractor. Nice. But when they sponsored your trip down there, I was like, I'm going to go buy a lawn tractor from those guys. So I did. There you go. Did yeah. you guys hear that? Everglades, did you hear that? I'd like to go to South Florida again. I think we should work something out. Let's do it. I'll get a hold of Cletus and uh, maybe you can race one of his cars out, with, out there at the track. I could race one of Cletus's cars. Maybe you'll have a lawn I could help with again because after today I'm going to be well versed. We got plenty of lawn for you. All right, let's do it. Let's throw her down, boys. Throw her down! First thing we got to do here is grab what they call a Harley rake. I don't know, it's an attachment that goes on the skid steer. I've never seen it, but supposedly it's got a big drum that spins around, levels out the ground, and somehow separates or windrows the rocks. We'll find out. So it's just a spiked drum that spins around. Does it do anything specific with the rocks or just hit them? Uh, you'll have to ask Chris on that. I'm not the expert there. <laughs> Does it pulverize the rocks? Does it pick them up for you? No, it just windrows them. Just windrows them, okay. It took a band of geniuses, but we we got it figured out now. We've got a separate remote that runs the tilt or the canter, I suppose is what I'd call it. We got it. We got it. To the back of the property. Go to the back. I got a rake. Work your you way. Got, you got a rake. Work your way to the front. If I'd have known Alan brought a rake, did we really need this thing? I mean, you know, see how it goes. We had it working, then Dad broke it. Alan, how many monkeys does it normally take to get these going? Well, better not. We don't have enough, apparently. Not enough. More than we have. There. Believe it or not, we're finding a large amount of softball size ish rocks up here. That thing does a nice job of wind rowing them, so they're easy to pick up, but we need somewhere to put them. It's making a lot of noise. I'll just grab one of the uh, tractors here out of his stable. I gotta get this one out of the way first, and and I don't I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Is there a key? What the heck is that thing? I'm pretty sure it's a tractor, but I don't know how to I don't, I don't know what to do. It's Toro red. It's a Toro. It looks like a Toro. It's much different than mine, that's for sure. How many monkeys does it take to start a case tractor? Well, hey, push the orange button. See what happens. It is red. <laughs> Look, don't let. You, it, <laughs> is it broke down already? You can barely reach the pedal though. We can adjust the seat, I would think. <laughs> That'll be nice. He's the only one I can make fun of for being short. <laughs> I got feelings too. <laughs> Simple as that. In all seriousness though, Dad recently bought this case tractor on an online auction that is a 45C 
a little bit bigger model than this 3038 here. Um, he wanted something that would handle a little bit heavier equipment, which worked out well because we got the aerator here that we're going to plant the seed with. Does he not know how to go? <laughs> so yes, we own a case tractor now. And so far, uh, obviously I haven't driven it, but dad actually says he, he likes it a lot, really likes it. I'm sure I'll drive it some today, I hope, if he can figure out how to get it going forward. We'll wreck something yet. I don't know how to drive the tractor. <laughs> Neither does he, so I, I don't. I don't have to be that embarrassed. Let's I mean, just I hope got, for the best. I got it started. Yeah, that's true. It is a case. It's a good thing we have multiple days for this. There's some udders down here. We can milk it. <laughs> we tried two of us, and neither of us know what we're doing. I got it started. The ball. We won't pick up the. You got to bang on the hood. I was just... There's we have a lot of equipment here right now. Two heavy equipment operators, two managers, and an idiot with a camera. Look at the concentration. Extreme concentration. So, Alan, what we have is a nice, a nice smooth finish, fluffy soil down there. Yep. What we're doing is tearing it up even more and then coming by with the other machine and packing it and back re -smoothing down. re-smoothing it, right. Re-smoothing. The idea is at least we can get the rocks out, create a nice seed bed. Because one of the things, in all seriousness, one of the things you want with a good seed job is seed to soil contact. Right. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to give ourselves the best play there. One of the things I never thought of or didn't realize was that these lawn care guys, there's a lot more ag involved than I would have thought. He showed up, he starts talking Roundup Ready grass seed, NPK, has a try on. Yeah. All kinds of, like, I know what he's saying, so I felt good about that. Me too. You know what I'm saying when you watch my videos a lot of the time. I do. That's why we're not just the stepchildren of Ash. Or are they? Maybe we are. So this aerovator will seed, but I guess for whatever specific reasons we're not seeding with it today, what we're doing is leveling out and firming for a seed bed and then we're actually going to just broadcast it over top of this. It's just about lunchtime. You want me to go get some uh, veggie burgers and some soy milk? Yeah, uh, make sure I, my vegan lifestyle stays, you know, input while I'm here. All right, appreciate that. You guys just keep working. I'll go. I'll go get food. You're doing great. Hi, can I get five butter burgers with cheese and bacon? Uh, doubles. Culvers. Good family farm supportive company. Good food too. Look at them all. Already on lunch break. The ride on spreader, you got two so turbo mm -hmm. Two turbo jet T nozzles. You can spread and spray it at the same time. Is it John Deere? <laughs> no. Spray cool. Are you okay to use it here? Probably not. Lunch is over and we're back to work. And rumor has it one of the underground sprinkler heads got run over. You okay? You alright? No, I don't have one to pick up. There you go. I was going to look like I was working on camera. Aww. Oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll jump over there and probably push him downhill. Yep. You want to grab that? There's about three orange flags. Just mark on the power line. You want to grab those? No. Yep. From this area up, be right over there. All right. You okay? Hey, you guys okay? You guys are doing really well, keep it up.
We got the lawn finished off. It is level for the most part. Tomorrow we're gonna go around and, around and seed this thing. It's about 60,000 square feet. And then I'm gonna run that red machine over there. And I'll get to try that. So far, Dad says he likes it. The guy that ran it all day today, his name is Chris. He says he really likes it, so I'm guessing I'll like it. But anyway, Onyx has a little league game here in about one hour. So I gotta go clean up and get him to the game. It's the playoffs. Playoffs are starting. First game tonight. So pretty pumped about that. And uh, we'll be back. See you guys again in the morning. Aw. Oh, I tried to do the hand pull thing, but it didn't work out that well. Let's try this. Oh, there we are. Good morning. Time to load a truck right away. We got one soybean truck going out here, so I'll get him loaded. I'm going to grab a few things, and then we're headed back to the house to finish our seating project. Going to need a battery charger. Honestly, I was pretty sure that it was the battery on the grain cart for the tarp that was drawing the batteries down on the 8360 because the batteries are not that old, but uh, it was unplugged. We unplugged the cart, so there was no reason for it to go dead. So I will add batteries for the 8360 to the list. Well, that's done. Now, now it's time to do the real work and get, get back to work on that lawn. It's a showdown. Get her. <laughs> I was just about to ask. He can't get enough of that red tractor, but yeah, you definitely got a leak. That ain't good. That's hydraulic oil. You made a big mess there. What'd you do? Look at him. He's just mad. He's just going to stomp off. He's done. You. I just started it up. <laughs> that's uh, yeah, that's uh, I suppose start it up again. I'll have to look in there, see if I can see where it's coming from. Is it a hose? That's almost what it looks like with as much oil as there is there. Don't get so worked up. We break things every day. But I really like that red track. Well, I guess get some coveralls on then. You go ahead and fix it. Paint it green. <laughs> morning Alan. Hey, morning. Got good news and bad news. All right. We're going to finish the lawn today. That's good news. That's good news. You want to hear the bad news? What's Chris broke your red tractor. I just turned I just turned it on, mate. I just turned it on. What happened? You got a big hydraulic leak. Really? Big one. We should get some eyes on it and he can start it up again. We'll see if we can tell where it's coming from. Okay. It maybe went 30 feet. I don't know if the 3038 will handle it. That machine? Yeah. Well, we'll see where it's coming from on that on that red one first. It only needs 12 horsepower. You think I would joke about a tractor breaking down? I thought maybe just because it was a red tractor it was expected. We'll look at it. Maybe we can fix it. I'll run a little dirt up here. All right. <laughs> Hold it. Kill it. Uh, okay, I know where it's coming out of. I can't tell you what's if something's broke or if it just needs to be tightened, but I know where it's coming from. But it's going both directions. There's a big, uh, I don't even know what those fittings are called, big eye hook fitting with a bolt down the top, and it's shooting out of both front and back of that. Mm. Like just, it's pumping it straight out of there. I suppose it's really hard to get to, too, isn't it? Ah, it isn't that bad if it's just if it just needs to be tightened like an inch and sixteenth or inch and an eighth And yeah, you can reach it from here. I believe it would just need to be tightened though. Well, I can't either but that's it's, the first thing to try to Try it. Yeah, I, I don't have any big wrenches here or it might be an o-ring underneath. Yeah, that would be our luck lately Yeah, we have blown five o-rings in the sprayer in the last week and a half it must be a big leak though, huh? It's big. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to see if there's an o-ring blown out underneath there There's so much oil underneath it now, but it's uh it's this one right here. Oh, right there? Yep, so if we can try to... I can't move it by hand, but it wouldn't surprise me if there's an O-ring in there. Huh. So we know where it's coming from. We can't say for sure what it is. My guess is there's an O-ring underneath there, but 
dad doesn't even have tools here yet they just got in the place and I got a buddy that lives a mile up the road it's gonna be a lot quicker to go there than back to the farm so that's where I'm headed Hey, slappy uh, we're working over at dad's place right now seeding down the lawn and we sprung a massive hydraulic leak on his little new red tractor so if you don't mind I'm gonna head over to your barn and grab a few tools cuz dad doesn't have any here so I'll bring them back clean them up I don't know why I didn't put the connection together before, but the, the buddy who lives up the road is his car owner, Corey. Kind of dark in here. Can you see? It's, it's our race car. Take one of these metric wrenches. Don't need that flashlight. Mm, inch and eighth, inch and sixteenth, inch, fifteen, seven eighths. What the heck? It's just weird, you know? The internet has told me many, many times that the red ones don't break down weird oh, that's tight yeah that's it's not loose so I went through all that to go get tools meanwhile these guys come up with a backup plan and it was all for not better go quick it won't go look at that beast that's what 1800 cubic inch it's got a hemi in it it's got a hemi wow a uh, what'd you call it a hemi Hemi. A hemi. Yard hog. Permagreen. Permagreen. So they went with plan B, C, or D, or whatever it is. Anyway, Dad took off to get something. We're leaving the red tractor over there, broke down for now, and we're gonna we're gonna get moving here with the permagreen. 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 Maybe. You should put like uh, ape hanger bars on that thing. Well, you can actually drop the handle. That's cool too. You get going too fast. That's the good stuff? One That's the good stuff. Whew. Right there. Alan, what are we mixing in here? So, well, the first thing we're putting in is mesotrion. Tenacity is the brand name. That's the mesotrion, so that's going to act as our pre-emergent control. Yep, similar to, well, exactly the same active as what we use in our fields sometimes. Exactly the same. Yeah, and this is off patent now, so you can get this in generics now. Yep. So, and then we've got starter fertilizer here, Green Pop 16212 in PK. And then RGS, root growth stimulant. So this is essentially humic acid, fulvic acid, and uh, hormones from sea kelp. All kinds of good grow stuff. All kinds of good juju to really help the seed, to, like we say, to jump out of the ground. Are we putting seed in this thing too? So we're doing it all in one application? No, we're gonna put the seed right, right at the top so you can spread and spray all together. That's efficiency. Very much so. Look at that. Black gold. Isn't that pretty? So this is the blend of Sea kelp, you said, humic acid, and fulvic acid. With cold water seaweed kelp. With cold water seaweed kelp. So what's the rate, you guys are doing rates by the square footage, is that correct? Per thousand square feet. Per so thousand? Three ounces per thousand. Okay, you're not doing it in acres. Not in acres. And this right here now is a blend of 1821-2. That's our NPK going in. Uh, it, so this would be basically like a, a starter fertilizer. It is a starter fertilizer from Green County Fertilizer Company. And you guys actually sell that, right? We do, yeah, we sell this to DIYers in uh, four packs or in five gallons, and uh, they can use it for seeding or sodding. Okay, and they can get it where? Uh, yardmastery.com, that's where we sell it, or on the lawncarenut.com. Becky, link that down below. <laughs> there it is. This is the genetically modified grass seed right here. Yep. Roundup resistant, glyphosate tolerant, it actually has, uh, it's crossed with spinach DNA for a really dark green, correct? Yep. And and it grows slower, so you don't have to mow it as often? It's been great. Yeah, you should only have to mow once every two weeks. Usually in season, you'll have to mow Kentucky bluegrass, you know, like every week, maybe yep. even twice a week. This should be every two weeks. And they actually undersell that. I have the St. Augustine grass that's bred similar, and I'm almost never mowing, once a month maybe. So the, the biggest thing is that deeper, darker blue-green color, though, because we want your dad to dominate the neighborhood. And That's the way right. you do that is with the darkest, greenest grass. That's what it's all about. You have to have magic seed. Scott's Pro Vista. We will tag that down below, too. But they provided this seed so that we could do this, make this video. So thank you to Scott's for that. Yep. And this is brand new. This is not really... This is just now coming out, so you're one of the first to have it. Yes. Neighborhood domination. Where's the GPS globe on that? <laughs> It doesn't have any LEDs on it either. No, no LEDs, no GPS. There we go. So this thing's laying down seed and our NPK uh, fertilizer, starter pop-up, the mesotrione, the sea kelp. It's all in there doing it all in one pass. Sporty. 
Hey, Chris. Can I drive it? You can. Ooh. Can I give you a tutorial? Yeah, I'm going to need a tutorial All for right, sure. Stand right there. All right. Where the little foot pads are at. Yep. So here's your hopper opening. I've already got it set. That's set. Okay. Yep. You'll just push your hopper forward. Spreader on. Spreader on. Does it click into place, I assume, against this? Yeah, it's just friction. Okay. So here's your spray. You'll okay, so to... hold that down once oh, I'm going. Hold that back. You, you want to leave that back the whole way. Okay. So your hopper's going to be open. Open. Yep. And back. Then, and then pull that back. And here's your accelerator, your throttle. Well, you can't make the... Uh... You, you almost dumped me there. You almost... <laughs> <laughs> that would have been hilarious. I love the manual <laughs> you got to make like a motorcycle throttle. Yeah, well, that would be even harder. Yeah. Where's the reverse? <laughs> Might have overdone it there. She's, uh... <laughs> Sorry, Dad. You might have some growing in the beds. We'll take care of that later. Back that way. Well, the old uh, Scott's Pro Vista Appalachian Turf, Green County Fertilizer Company, Yard Mastery, Lawn Care Nut, Permagreen machine here run pretty good. You know, we got into Ricky's Oil when he puked the motor there, got up into the quarter panel, into the wall. Boys patched it up, put it back together. We kept on digging. Here we are in Victory Lane. Got to thank everybody back at the shop, all the guys, the driver of the truck. We was up late last night. It was been a long day, been a long week, all in all, but here we are, Victory Lane. I don't know why I kept getting more Southern as I talked. You better Is that just a NASCAR there. thing? It works out. Yeah, it just it's natural. I hear yeah, from I guess. behind, Billy. <laughs> so this east side of the yard is planted now. Dad's out rolling that. We decided this would be a lot faster and we wouldn't have to fix the red tractor. So we're just gonna roll this in. That drum's got water in it. It's weighted pretty heavy. It's just uh, leveling it off. Then the next step will be to come by with the straw mats here. Then I think they'll turn the sprinklers on. Now this is interesting down here. This is what it looks like to fertilize a tree through the trunk, which I did not know was a thing. Apparently, it's a great way to fertilize these things. Who knew? It is the straw mat installation time. So Ready? Like this? See? Much easier. Uh, thanks for teaching me the magic. You're welcome. Don't tell too many people. I won't. Sure wish that would work with all these staples we gotta step in now. Oh, you got a crooked one there. It's the way of my life. Rock? More than likely. Josh is getting a bunch done. All right. Josh has bigger feet. I'll just keep videotaping you guys. You're doing well. <laughs> We're definitely hitting, I'm hitting a lot of rocks. Yeah. You look like you're getting ready to rob a place. I might be. Is that what they wear in South Florida? This is it. Keep the sun off you? I noticed you just rolled up your sleeves. Well, you know, I gotta act like I'm doing some kind of work. <laughs> Only a few more hours of this to go. This is every bit as fun as you would think it would be. I'm coming to help you guys. I'll get there. We'll wait till we find a little piece for that. Josh says we're going to the fence here. One roll from this box to the, to the fence. fence. Alan says we're going to be 20 feet short. 20 feet short. I'm saying eight feet short. Eight feet short. One of us is going to be a hero. And Chris. I think you should start back there and be realistic. Don't you, don't you show up now and try to be start, a supervisor. Start back there where you're supposed to be. <laughs> No excuses. How tight should we pull this? Boy, boy, that's what, that's what she asked. We got a sprinkler head there we're gonna have to cut over to. You go to the side, that'll work. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. It goes for a lot longer at the end than you think. I don't know. There's a lot more left than you think. A lot of jokes in there. <laughs> See where, oh, oh. Oh, Looks like about eight feet from the fence. That's a lot of stretching. I think that's about eight feet from the fence. <laughs> I get to buy you guys a round of drinks. Oh. Isn't that how, is that, that's how that works, right? There goes Onyx. You need me to teach you, Onyx? I'm pretty good at that now. Isla, do you think you could drive that? I think you could. I'm not too tall. You're not too tall? Oh, yeah, it'd be hard to see, wouldn't it? Ellen, I think we just laid our last roll here. Uh, last roll of straw, right? I'm so glad. I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> uh, I didn't have the camera on for like six hours. Me neither. And I'm like, I'm feeling sunburned. Oh yeah, sweaty, no doubt. dehydrated, hungry, I, all a of the above. Scared. 
A little scared, huh? A little scared. Well, we gotta be hopeful. Let's be hopeful. All right, positive attitudes. All watering all the time now. All watering. That's the key. You and I, we gotta go to the watering hole. Oh, well, that kind of watering is definitely in order. Definitely. <laughs> Hey Becky, Beck, can I call you Beck? I hope that's okay. Listen, so your husband, the millennial farmer, he's out getting us some lunch right now, which that's that's a good job for him, but I wanna ask a favor now. Whenever you edit this, you have to make it look like I did all the work, 100% of the work, and that I'm really tired all the time, working really hard. Also, always get my best angle. Uh, don't show my man breasts or any of my fat areas or anything like that, you know, neck up would be best. And uh, again, just make sure that everybody can tell that I did all the work because that's what I'm gonna do in my video as well. And you know, I wouldn't want your video to look any different than mine. So thanks very much, appreciate you. Okay, hold on, hold on. I almost forgot this. I know tons of people are gonna be asking. While we were throwing those mats down in the backyard, the North Carolina guy over here and dad hooked a green tractor up to this red tractor and pulled it out of the way, pulled it out of the yard because it wouldn't even move. I think the pressure was being released so badly through that fitting that it wouldn't, you couldn't even move the tractor. So uh, we're going to get some oil up here, some oil, and we're going to take that fitting apart and see what it is. But we're going to do that tomorrow because sun's going down. It's been a long couple days. This thing's going to sit right here, but is what it is. One of those things. They all break down. All of them. Doesn't matter what color they are. Anyway, I knew a bunch of people were going to be asking. I dang near forgot about that. But yes, this is Dad's new tractor. Need some fixing now.